Good night, Empire. It's 8 p.m. Uh, I decided to make this video because something's been bothering me. Last Friday, Mike Rios, backup Mike 196 from the S3 crew, and myself, straight out of work. I picked up Mike. Oh, actually, he met me at my bus stop. Uh, he went to me to my garage to <laughs> park the bus. From there, we went straight down to Manhattan. Stuck in traffic for 45 minutes to uh, Mount Sinai, Morningside uh, Division of Mount Sinai Hospital, located at 1111 Amsterdam Avenue. We went to go see our fallen rider, Louis. He's in the ICU unit. And uh, lost for words here. What we saw left uh, not on our throats. Mike and I were speechless. Uh, the man is number one tied up to the bed. He's intubated. Uh, he has a shunt through his skull. He has a tennis ball sized hole in the right side of his skull. Um, According to the nurse, being that we're not family, she can't give us the particulars. Uh, but she did say that he's heavily sedated. Which I think is a good call because I don't think that man wants to wake up with a whole side of his skull. Um, we spoke to him. Um, I don't know if he can hear us or not. He did wiggles his toes on the right foot. No movement on the left. And it was something very sad to see. Um, and it's been on my mind since I left the hospital that night. Mike and I stood there for about an hour. Um, visiting hours is over at 9. So we stood till 9. And uh, I hope this man wakes up. I hope... He gets better. I don't want to see another Daryl. So my point for this video is that a few years ago we were at 48 volts and it was great. The rides were awesome. We will break halfway point, charge for three, four hours, talk to shop, bullshit, get back on the bikes, do another 10, 15 miles. It was great. Now, no, then the last year there was 52 volts. Everybody, oh shit, 52 volts. <laughs> Everybody was excited, you know? And this year, 72 volts. Now, in the chat, I belong to a few chats, chat rooms. Now everybody's talking about 8,000 watts and above 72 volt batteries. 80, 90, 96, whatever. When does it end? To what end? Um... You're gonna invest what? I can't imagine what a 96 volt battery costs. Five grand? A 8,000 watt motor, 1,500 maybe? Then a subatomic controller or a Bach 8,000, whatever. To go what, 100 miles an hour? For what? We're in New York City, New Jersey, Connecticut, Tri-State. Where the hell are you gonna go that fast in the streets of New York? It's pointless. Unless you're going to build, have a build to go to a track and race on the track, then I could see that. And I don't blame the battery companies. Whether it's powerful, lithium, shy, whatever, whoever. They're not to blame. We're to blame. We have to show responsibility on our, on our, on our actions. You know, my Onyx does 65. If I put a tune on it, maybe 70, 75. You never see me doing 70 miles an hour on my Onyx. I don't pass 40, you know. At the end of the day, I'm an old geezer, you know. I fall. Look look at Louis. He's my age. Um, I'm not a spring chicken. 20-year-old can just get up and dust himself off and keep it going. No. We have to be responsible with the power that we put on our bikes. At the end of the day, that's the bottom line. You know, you go to Ferrari, Lamborghini, they sell you a car, 
250, $300,000 car and you kill yourself on the Autobahn doing 200 miles an hour, you can't blame Ferrari or Lambo. That was you. That's the same thing for us. We could have 72 volts, 82 volts, 96 volts. It's our responsibility to know when and where to use that power. There's a right place and the right time for everything. And the 72 volt system in New York City is pointless. And I get it, yeah, with 72 volts, because I do it. Excuse me. I do it. You want to know you have that instant power if you got to get out of arm's way, keep up with the traffic. With my Onyx, I ride right behind the cars. I stop at lights, turn signals the whole nine, and I'm with them. I'm right behind the car, not next to it. I'm right behind it, you know. Well, my async is only 33, 35 miles an hour. I find myself finding bike paths and trails. I don't feel comfortable riding that bike in the street with these cars passing by me at 50, 60 miles an hour on the city street. But, see, I do that because I know I can't keep up with traffic on the async, you know. With this bad boy, yes, I can keep up with traffic and pass them. But, um, like I said, I do it responsibly. You don't ever see me doing 50, 60 miles an hour. Not in New York. I go to Maryland for that. Go to Connecticut, Boston, Washington, D.C., Virginia. There you can ride. Nobody honks the horn at you. Nobody throws a car at you for the most part. But in New York, Jersey... No bueno. So with the death of Daryl last month, with Louis in that bed, motionless, then I heard through Mano that Zay had an accident. I didn't even know that. And the day of Louis' big accident, he had an accident earlier that day with Mano. Mano told me. Mano said, fuck this. I'm going back home. Louis decided to keep riding. And then that night, early morning, the big one happened. They got conflicting stories that he was on the highway, West Side Highway, that it happened somewhere in the West Side Highway in the 50s and 60s. There's a conflicting story. The car hit him and kept on going. Was he going too fast and lost control? Nobody knows. Only the man can answer that once he wakes up. So, that falls back on um, being responsible. Because if I know Louie or me, anybody, had a 48-volt for 52-volt bike, we wouldn't find ourselves on the highway. We wouldn't even think about it. But just the fact that we know we have that power now, we take unnecessary chances. And I'm guilty as charged. I did a stupid, a stupid, stupid move on the Mega Ride. I was at Venom's house, and back of Mike showed up, and Venom cooked us dinner and everything. It was very nice. Uh, it had rained, so we were waiting for it to stop raining. And when it finally did stop raining, um, we saw that we only had 14 minutes to get to the to Battery Park from Brooklyn. So Venom checked the app, whatever, the GPS, the regular way, going via Brooklyn Bridge and all that was going to take 20-something minutes. So he turns around and looks at Mike and I and says, listen, I got a way to go. I don't know if you guys are down for it. We could take the BQE, one exit, to the battery tunnel. I said, you want to do what? <laughs> and the logical me would have said, hell fucking no. I don't care if I missed the mega ride, the night, the night ride. I don't give a shit. But being that this puppy does 65, 70 miles an hour, Venom's bike does like 80. Mike does 65, 70. I said, hell yeah, fuck it, let's go. I got on the BQE that night, and I was doing 60. I never felt so scared in my life. Cars were passing me at 70, blowing the horn, cutting me off. They were pissed that I was in the right lane to begin with. Mike was way ahead of me. I would say a quarter mile in front of me. He was doing 65 plus Venom. He was gone. He must have been doing 75 miles an hour. I never saw him again. And we took it for one exit into the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, and to make a long story short, we got to Battery Park in nine minutes from Venom's house. 
What a stupid decision that I made that night. I will never do that again. My fork was shaking like a leaf. I mean, I, mean, I was terrified. I was terrified. And for what? But I did it because I know I have the power. Had it been a stock bike, I would never have thought to jump into the, uh, into the BQE, into a battery tunnel. Never. So that's the problem. The problem is us. We know we have the power and we want to use it. And we got to stop thinking that way. We got to act more responsible. Because when you get into an accident, and I'm not saying all accidents are, 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 are fast or speeding. Mr. Eat had two accidents this season. One with the metal grade that he's always pointing watch out for. And then he, I think he whiskey throttled in one of Powerful Lithium's ride that night that damaged his finger. Almost took his finger off. Neither one was speeding. I fell coming off a sidewalk by the Bronx Road Parkway in the Bronx. I whiskey throttled the bike. And um, it lifted up and it, I fell. You know, so not all accidents are speeds, I'm, you know, but the real bad ones are. Daryl, according to the police, was speeding. And you look at the, the side of the car that he hit, that Jeep, you can tell he was speeding. And watching Louie in that bed, you can tell he was going fast. So we got to be more responsible. And that's it. I don't want to make this video as long as it has to be. But we got to check ourselves. Um, and please, go visit Louie, man. Uh, I don't know if he could hear us or not, but just go there. Five minutes, bro. Five minutes. Over at Mount Sinai, Morningside Division. He's in the ICU, 7th floor, east. Uh, yeah, go visit the guy, man. If it was one of us, or if it was you, you want somebody to visit you. You know, we talk about unity. Okay? This is all about unity in the community. Bullshit. Full of shit. We're all full of shit. You know? We have over a thousand riders if you had all the crews in New York City together. And only five people went to visit this man. Come on. It's bullshit. Anyway, that's what's leading me to start my own crew next year, next season, called the Majestic Riders. 30 miles an hour, no stunts, no drugs, okay? I will be making up an application for next season. I will announce it when I'm ready. And I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back old school. 30 miles an hour, 15 mile break. After 15 miles, we charge those that don't have a high-end battery will charge, talk shop, get back on the bikes, do the second half of the ride. Then at the end of the ride, I plan to have some kind of tournament where we will end in a nice parking lot, drag racing, slalom course. Then you could do your stunts and, and all that stuff. Then we're going to end it with a best of show. That's going to be my typical ride. And it's going to require you to fill out an application, name, address, Emergency contact, blood type, a brief history, uh, medical history, um, information about your bike, and yes, you're going to require to have a motor vehicle because most of my rides are going to be out of state. Uh, the S3, East Coast Scooters, G-Wolves, Gotham, they all cover New York City, so I don't need to do New York City. I'm going to concentrate on out-of-state rides, so yeah. My crew is going to be something like that. You're going to, you're going to have to pay dues, uh, ride in formation. Um, I used to belong to a motorcycle club many moons ago. So I want something similar to what I used to be in when I was in a motorcycle club. And the money is going to be used for everything to do with the crew. Um, so you'll be able to see the balance of the money, what goes to what, and... That's it. That's something I'm working on now in the off season. And that's it. We just, I just, we got to be responsible for the power that we have. I'm not knocking nobody, you know, people are going to say, oh, who the fuck this guy think he is? It's my opinion and my opinion only. You either like it and you don't, or you don't. And if you don't, I don't care. It's just my opinion. Uh, I want everybody to be safe. I'm tired. 
tired of hearing this guy die. This guy is in the ICU. This guy had a spill. Zay had a spill. How come I didn't hear about it? You know, nobody cares. It's like business as usual. And that's got to stop. Either that's got to stop or you got to stop saying it's all about the community. And we all want for one, one for all. Because it's crap. It's bullshit. You know, everybody's for themselves. My opinion. You don't have to agree with me. But, um, yeah, so with that being said, have a good night. If you're going to ride, please wear your helmet. And if you have any kind of other gear, put it on. And obey the laws, man. It's coming. January, insurance, plates, registration. That's coming. Um, and let's be a little bit more respectful and mindful of what we have between our legs. Especially when you have that big power. Take care, Aaron Piz. Good night. You already know who this is. Peace.